Hi, I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial I will show you how to use the Stripe Payments plugin. This plugin allows you to accept credit card payments for both physical and digital products through the Stripe Payment Gateway. There are two ways to create a payment button using this plugin. You can configure a product in the admin dashboard of this plugin and then sell that product on any post or page by using a shortcode. The other method involves directly entering information into a shortcode without needing to create the product in the admin dashboard. In this video, my main focus is to demonstrate the primary method, which is creating a product in the admin dashboard. Using method two will be covered in another tutorial. I have already activated the plugin as you can see, so make sure you have done the same before moving on. First, we need to configure some basic settings, so we'll, I will show you how to do that. So if you go to the Stripe Payments, enter settings, most default settings should be good to get you going. I'll go through the various fields in this interface to give you an overview and you can change a few things if you need to. So towards the top you'll see checkout results page URL. This page is automatically created by the plugin. Please don't delete this as the plugin needs it to work efficiently. So if you go down you'll see currency. Um, you can change this to your preferred currency so I'll be using the US dollars. And if you scroll further down I'd like to draw your attention to the credentials section. Before creating a product, you'll need to enter in your Stripe API keys. These can be found in the API menu of your Stripe account. Simply copy and paste these into the appropriate fields. If you do not have a Stripe account, you'll need to create one before moving on. It's simple and it's free. So once you've pasted these in, you'll need to tick this box if you wanna run it in live mode. But if you're just using it for a test mode, just leave this unchecked. So we'll scroll down. All that's left to do now is just save the changes that we've made. We are now ready to create a product. So under Stripe Payments, you'll see Add New Product, just select that. So now we're gonna enter in all our product information. I'll start with a title. So I'm gonna be selling a wallpaper. It's a digital product, this one. Next, I'll enter in a description for my product. Now we'll scroll down a little bit further and you'll need to enter in a price. Make sure to enter in only numerals, no currency symbols. So my digital wallpaper is going to be $9.95. Leaving currency as default, we'll use the currency you've selected in the settings menu. So mine was US, so I'm going to leave that one and scroll down further. I'll need to upload my file that I want my customers to be able to download after a successful purchase. So I'll select my file, it's already in my media library, it's this wallpaper here, and then we'll insert that one. And I'll also upload a product thumbnail. So select image. I'm gonna use the same image because the um, plugin will actually make that a small thumbnail image. So now we'll go down further. As you can see, the short code of your product is listed here if you need to use it. But in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the short code inserter. So I won't need to worry about this short code here just yet. So now I've entered in everything. I'll scroll right up to the top and I'll publish out my product. So once you've published a product, it'll go under the products tab. So you can see my products here. Um, wallpaper for laptops and computers. It'll give it an ID. You can see my price in USD and the short code will also show up here. Each product you create will automatically have an individual product page for it. You can send your visitors straight to this page. This product can be displayed anywhere on your site also. This can be very useful if you want to put it on a page or on your website sidebar and so on. I'll now show you how to put it on a page. So we'll need to go up to Pages, Add New. So firstly, I'll just give it a short title. Now that I've given it a title, if you come down here, we're going to use the shortcode inserter. So you'll see Stripe Payment Shortcode. Click on that and the Product Shortcode. And then you'll need to select the product you want to insert. So I'm going to insert the one I just created, which was Wallpaper for Laptops and Computers. So simply Insert Shortcode and then publish it out. 
So now that I've published out this page with my product on it, I'll just go up and I'll make sure everything's working smoothly. So open link a new tab. And as you can see, I've got my page and then I've got my product on it and a buy now button. My thumbnail image, my product name and description is also put onto the page by just using the short code. So I'll run through a quick transaction so you can see what your customers will see. So I'll go buy now, and that'll take me to this Stripe payment, and I'll pay US $9.95. So once a successful payment has gone through, your customers will receive the checkout results page, and it'll tell them what they've purchased, and if you've got a downloadable item, it'll include that. So please click here to download. And as you can see, it will download the item I've just purchased. If you have enabled the send email to customer in the settings menu, your customer will also receive an email with the download link. So now I'll go back to my dashboard and I'd like to show you under Stripe payments how the orders will come through. So under orders, you can see um, what people have purchased. So this is the one I've just purchased. Um, you can see the number one wallpaper for laptops and computers. Because this is a digital product, I don't have to do anything, but if it was a physical product, this is where you would find their shipping address and details. So if I was to click on that customer's order, it'll bring me here, which will give me more details. This will include quantity, the price they've paid, email address, billing address and shipping address if applicable. So that brings me to the end of the tutorial on the Stripe Payments plugin. If you still have any questions or queries, feel free to head over to the forum.